In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a hurdle race infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, this is the running track with uh, three hurdles. And when I click, you can see here one I have just added one icon. And then the first step will come where you can add your detailed text here. And on my next click, it will show me the step two, then the step three, and the last one, step four. And I have made one more slide with a different background. So you can see here, I've just put a kind of a, a stadium uh, background. And again, it's the same. When I click, it will show you the first step, second step, third, and the fourth step. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a blank slide, then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the rectangle, draw the rectangle maybe this much size later on we can increase or decrease the size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some dark colors and then i'm going to add one more rectangle go to insert shapes select the rectangle and draw the rectangle maybe this much size you can see here and send this to back and this color i'm just going to select maybe this light red color shape outline make it no outline and then I'm going to add one more stand here. Just add one more here, you can see. And then I'm going to add two or three smaller rectangles inside. Go to insert shapes, select the rounded corner rectangle and draw it in the center, maybe this much size. And shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill you can give a light gray color. Press Ctrl D, add one more so total three are there and if you want you can just rearrange them select all go to align distribute horizontally now once this is done i'm just going to add one more rectangle as a shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle smaller one you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it black color and right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to increase the transparency level you can see here i'm just going to increase the transparency level so it looks something like this so i'm just going to select all you can see here or you can just press ctrl a also to select all the objects and press ctrl g to group it now you can see here you have end up getting with this shape now go to effects you can see here under 3d format let me just go down under 3d rotation go to presets and i'm going to select this one which is the off axis to right let me just select that so you can see here it end up getting something like this and if you want to give some 3d effects go to the 3d format and under depth increase the size you can see here maybe 10 now again you can adjust it accordingly you want less height you can just adjust it if you want more width you can just adjust something like this here so let me just reduce it further you can see here so i can just put one hurdle like this here press ctrl d one more hurdle here and again ctrl d one more hurdle here so again how many hurdles you need you can just add it as much as you want and again, if you feel that this shape is not correct, you can just again adjust it according to your requirement. So this looks much bigger. Let me just select all. You can see here, press Ctrl A, Ctrl G to group it. Let me just reduce the size. Hold the shift key. You can just reduce the size. You can see here. Again, if you want to reduce the height also, you can simply reduce like this. Ungroup it and then again reposition it for example i want to put one here the other one i want to put it here and the last one i want to put it here again if you want you can add one more if you have enough space to that one now let me just add the tracks for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any light turquoise color or you can use red color also not a problem and then just send this to back so you can see here the tracks and then i'm going to put the lines 
go to insert shapes select the rectangle I'm going to add a small shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can make it white you can see here let me just put it here press ctrl D to duplicate bring one more here and reduce the width a little bit and again send this to back you can see here and you want you can add one more press ctrl D bring it here you can just increase the size because this is not let me just make it till the end and this one is more smaller you can see here and send this to back so you can see here we have added the tracks we have added the hurdles now it's time to add some points here let me just move it here all right now i'm going to add the steps for that go to insert shape select the oval shape draw the small oval shape by holding the shift key and then you bring it here one shape fill you can give any color shape outline maybe you can use the black and if you want you can just increase the width you can see here and i'm going to type step 01 you can see here again if you want you can change the font color font size or whatever up to your requirement so this is step one press ctrl d or before this one you can give some shadow effect also you can go to presets and give this perspective this shadow effect press ctrl d this is my step two ctrl d this is a step three and the last one ctrl d step four and again if you want you can just change the colors for example i want some different colors maybe i want this one this and maybe this so you can see here we have added the the steps now we'll do a connecting line a curve line for this one go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select this one which is the arc you can see here you can just increase or decrease the size by dragging this one small orange points you can see here let me just bring it here i'm going to give some different color maybe some dark orange increase the width you can see here so that it is clearly visible and the dash type i'm going to select this one and just increase the size you can see here you can just put something like this again if you want further you can increase it more so this is my step one to step two press ctrl d so this one will come here again ctrl d this one will something like this here so you can see here now we have added the steps the lines and now it's time to add the text to add the text go to insert text box i'm going to say this is step zero one and the color the same as what we have used for here again increase the size if you want this is the step one and go to insert text box and you can add your detail text here let me just reduce the size if you want you can give some light gray color i'm going to select both of this press ctrl g to group it and i want one arrow towards this shapes select this arrow for example i want to put something from here and shape outline make it a gray color and then the end arrow type i'm going to select this one which is the oval arrow so it looks something like this now i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate so this is my second step ctrl d this is my third step make sure that it is properly aligned and this is the fourth step and then this one let me just move a little bit here 
so this is my step number two step number three and step four and we need to change the text color according to the what we have selected here go to home and this is uh, for this color this blue will be this one I believe the same color then this one will be this color so like that you can just change the colors now you can see here we have added the the hurdles the steps everything is done and uh, you can add the animation now let me just close this format background go to animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the step one add animation go to more entrance effects and i'm going to select the basic zoom you can see here basic zoom you can make it effect option from out also something like this and you want you can just make it more faster instead of 0.5 you can make it 0.2 also and then this line should come for the line add animation again go to more entrance effects i'm going to say stretch and click ok effect options i will say from bottom so it goes like this this one should happen after previous and this one line i'm going to select click on animation painter and click here so the text also appears something like this and then after this one i'm going to select this curve and go and click on the wipe effect wipe effect effect options say from left and this also should happen after previous so you can see here one set of the animation is over now it's for me it's easy i'm just going to select this animation painter click on this then the line then the text we can see here and then this curve line then again this is my third one click on this and again this one i'm going to select let me just do the third one and then this will go to this and comes the last one if you don't have the animation painter then you need to do it uh, manually so let me just select this and this so let's see how it looks in the slideshow you can see here when i click it will show you the step one then second clip step two step three and step four so you can see here we have just created this slide and you want you can add your own text here that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye